uh, is using feedback, feedback and outcomes data to facilitate service operational conversations with senior management and commissioners. I'm feeling much more comfortable, I'm not in this 20 second thing that's very anxiety provoking. Anyway, so the first lesson is that when you get an email uh, that says, uh, would, could you tick a would you like to tick the box saying nailed it and had it to present to us about it, don't tick that box, tick the struggling and would like advice box, otherwise you'll end up here. Um, but what I wanted to share with you is um, our conversations with our commissioners mainly. Different trusts seem to operate differently. I've heard stories from some trusts that people are told they must not speak to their commissioners. Um, thank you. And uh, we're very lucky in Camden because explicitly in, in the Camden plan, uh, our commissioners have been told that they must speak to us. So uh, it's so, so it's so widely accepted that, uh, that they want to have conversations. This an interesting. We, we were slightly suspicious of their approaches at first. We thought, oh, you know, top sensitive information going on uh, that we've got. Uh, what happens if they discover we're completely useless and that we're sort of been fudging our figures and, and so on and so forth. But um, we, we took the plunge, and uh, and Sarah Brown here, uh, she, she's a, a, a wonderful individual. Um, She's got a steely determination, she's like a sort of rock biler, so if, if she wants to sort of um, get something done, she won't stop until it is done. But disarmingly, she's got uh, you know, very, very good um, social skills, she's sort of uh, you know, engaging um, and, and listens as well. So uh, it's an interesting combination. So the rest of the presentation is extremely dull. Um, data. Lots and lots and lots of data that the commissioners wanted to, to look at. And they didn't want to look at um, graphs and uh, you know, how well we've done in one area, how bad we've done in another. They, they wanted to look at the raw data. So we produced these things called uh, patient level reports. Um, so for every team, and, and we're sort of at the point now where we're, we're revising this because I think the, you know, now that the data's flowing, uh, maybe they do want to see some an analysis rather than the rather than the raw data. So you know the, the commissioners are very interested in which postcodes. So you know they're worried that everybody we see might come from NW3, which would be a pretty bad idea. So they're very reassured to see uh, a, you know, a range of um, postcodes. They're very reassured to see a range of ethnicities. Um, they also want to track the GP practice. We've got some categories like dis disability and vulnerability. And then moving along, I don't know if this is getting a bit small, maybe we'll go on to the next one. Um, how often are we completing the CHI ESQ? So that's going on this, uh, this report. And from the commission's point of view, interestingly, the, 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 most, the measure that they want most is the uh, goal-based measure, because that is, is user-defined. So, Interesting, you know, they're much less interested in standardized measures like the uh, SDQ. Uh, it's the, you know, the, the user experience that they're on. So the goal-based uh, meets their needs most. We had to work very hard with IT to get these reports to work. It took forever. There was an issue, one point where we thought the data was going in, but we weren't sure it was coming out. So that was like sort of six months' work, sort of back and forth with IT. And then when we got to the point where we realized that the date of what was going in was coming out, then the next six months were sort of battering away at clinicians to actually put the data in. Um, and we need to feed back to clinicians that this is being shown to commissioners every three months. Um, and it is actually quite a motivation. I think we'll, we'll actually start using these stickies, but um, this is another, another tool. This is the stick. <coughs> <laughs> um, so we've got goals, we've got, uh, we've got first review, uh, we've got, um, set, we've got uh, a follow-up, we, we create a score that shows a change. We've got CGAS, interestingly CGAS, some of our clinicians were being a bit, um, I think a bit sort of optimistic about uh, the mental health of their clients, were actually rating their clients higher than they would have rated themselves. Uh, on the on the sea gas, um, so we, we had to do some training to sort of get everybody 
sort of in line. Um, Chai ESQ, so uh, that's getting embedded well, and commissioners are very interested in, in knowing about that. So this, this is an example of a quarterly report. So we've got um, 27 uh, Chai ESQs being completed in that report for that particular team. Um, and this is quite a nice way of presenting it. Uh, quite, quite simple. I think Rachel over there um, was the, the first person to come up with this uh, nice, easy way of presenting. And so, for example, um, comfortable facilities, uh, some 17 certainly true, 10 partly true. Um, previously, before the waiting room, that was much higher. We were actually getting uh, quite a few in the um, not true box. And then this is uh, Camden Children's Schools and Families uh, monetary <coughs> form. It's their quality assurance form. So, again, we've got a box for services of feedback and then each team so so the, the commissioner will go to so every single team every quarter it's a huge operation We're just starting actually this week so on thursday i've got uh, four separate meetings with four different teams and uh and with sarah brown um and it's a dialogue i think that's what's very important i mean you know, but once they knew the data was there uh and it, you know what does this mean means that you have a, you know, a sensible um, dialogue and I think our commissioners really understand uh, our service much better than they did before. And so in s services where the trusts are told not to speak to commissioners, you know, the, the, the only dialogue is, is through figures and which obviously can be interpreted in many, many different ways. And uh, so I'm very pleased that we've got this way of doing it. And at the end of it, we always have uh, case studies, um, anonymized obviously, which creates uh, you know, some very useful dialogue. And I think that is it. Less than 10 minutes. Thank you.